Hey, what's up guys? Slim here. Um, I just wanted to do one last video. Uh, I promised a pay video about Maverick Transportation, so I wanted to follow through with my word. I'm a man of my word, so I wanted to follow through with that. Um, I know in my last video, um, I kind of talked about some things about Maverick Transportation that were, um, in essence, more of the negative side. But with this video, I just want to first of all say, you know, I no longer work for Maverick Transportation. Um, you know, there are some people that gave me referrals. I wasn't able to get those. Um, I'm not doing it for the referrals anyway. But I want you to know that uh, Maverick didn't fire me, uh, that um, they put me on a leave of absence, and um, I resigned and went to another company, and I'm driving for another company. Um, so, but uh, great company. I, I love so far, so good couple weeks out now solo I will, but one thing and this is what I want to say this I went through all that to say this one of the best things Maverick does is the pay for an entry-level driver their pay is unmatched for an entry-level driver cents per mile if you're willing to stay out with TCD especially you are gonna make good money the money is there you can ask any TCD driver they are making good money um, plenty of freight right now in the TCD division so um, I want to talk about first of all your mileage pay um, is going to be your your base pay starts at 49 cents per mile right out of the gate no matter what happens no matter how much you idle the truck etc etc you're gonna get 49 cents per mile now coming into Maverick right out of training all of that orientation going out with a trainer etc etc once you get out on your own you're gonna get two cents pay for performance and pay for performance is if you get X amount of miles for per day um, you're gonna you have you can't idle your truck a lot you got to keep within the route you can't have a lot of out of route miles less than 10% and it, it fluctuates from zero you can get zero cents extra PFP cents per mile to six cents PFP um, so most most TCD drivers are able to get four to five cents but you're gonna start off with at least two so you're gonna be making 51 cents right out of the gate right out of training right out of CDL school boom and that is amazing pay trust me I have talked to a thousand and one companies um, I, I've called them all up and by far Mavericks entry level pay for their drivers is phenomenal you cannot beat it so the uh, you're also guaranteed a thousand minimum weekly or 1200 depending on what your PFP is so no matter what it say you get stuck if there's something that happened if your truck broke down any of that you are guaranteed at least a thousand dollars gross gross um, that's not take home that is gross so that's a great guarantee to have it's very comforting to know that even when you're out here on the road a thousand dollars isn't a ton like in this industry being gone from home and stuff to me a thousand dollars is a lot though for an entry-level driver to come into the game and make that right out of the gate guaranteed so you get that a thousand to twelve hundred that's amazing that's an amazing guarantee I'm, and to be honest with you I've never seen another company guarantee me that so far and you know that's with a year and two months of driving experience combined total experience so um, you're gonna get detention pay um, that's fifteen dollars after the first two hours that you're at a shipper so while you're sitting here you know I always kind of like to sit for like three or four hours um, because it helps you kind of get like that extra thirty dollars adds on to the trip that you already with the miles that you already took you know it, it would be great if you just ran 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 but that's not always how it is so you know if I'm gonna sit for two hours and just waste my time but you've got the 14 hour clock see so if you're there for two hours and then you can sit for another three or four you see what I'm saying you get that extra thirty dollars while you're not driving and then you can go ahead and drive your next eleven hours which is 
even more money on top of that. So I don't know if that makes sense. I don't, I, it's hard to communicate what's going through my mind. You learn kind of these things as you go. You got breakdown pay. Now, there was at one time when I first started with Maverick, I broke down for like nine days. They had it in the shop and it wasn't Maverick's fault and the breakdown wasn't my fault. I was broke down for nine days. I got one load that week and then I was broke down the rest of the week. Um, breakdown pay, I'm, it it worked out for me where I still had that thousand dollars. I wasn't home. I did not get to go home. I was stuck in a hotel room and I was about to go crazy. It was, and it, I just felt like this was ridiculous. But all that said and done, I still made eleven hundred dollars that week. The week that I got one load and I was broke down, they still gave me like nine hundred and fifty dollars of breakdown pay, plus, um, plus the load that I had on top of that. So that's awesome, <laughs> you know. Um, that that was awesome. The highest check I ever had was $1,600 gross. And that was with my graduation bonus on there. So right after you graduate, you get that $400. After you graduate, $400 your first load. Um, so I had $400 right after I graduated, plus I ran one load. So And then after that, I ran a whole week, and plus got that other $400, and I think that was my $1,600 load, uh, $1,600 week. Um, lowest check solo was probably 875 and that was take home that was take home so yeah that was my lowest check um, my goal like on an average week you could probably make take home eleven hundred dollars um, that's what my goal was always to clear a thousand take home whenever I was TCD so I, but then again, I stayed out six, seven weeks. I made I made the sacrifice. I did it. It was hard. Um, and that guarantee pay also, that's for if you stay out Saturday to Saturday. You have to stay out a full seven days to get that guarantee. So that that was awesome. Um, my The weekend guarantee, we get that too, and that's 800 miles. And so what that means is, it doesn't mean like, oh yeah, you're guaranteed 800 miles on that Saturday, you know, or all that. What that means is across from Friday to Monday, when they give you a load on Friday and it might deliver on Monday, you're guaranteed 800 miles at least on that weekend. So they, and they usually give you longer than that. So I'd usually get my longest loads, 950 miles, something like that on, on the weekends. And that's when you want to be out getting it is on the weekends so you know you get that weekend guarantee mile a week of running uh, I would say that I averaged 2300 miles 2400 miles some somewhere around in there I, I didn't get a lot of like the high, the highest week I ever had was 2800 and you know I, I mean what they're going to tell you is like, oh, it's all about how you run the truck, run the truck. And that's true. How you run your truck, if you're just taking 20-hour breaks, you know, or 15-hour breaks all the time, that's not using your time wisely. You know, you take your 10-hour break, get up, start rolling again. But what I would say is it's also about the freight. Running your truck is half the battle, and the company having good freight is the other half of the battle. Um... So, I would just put that out there. My, um, like I said, my 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 weeks twenty three, twenty four hundred miles were were pretty much what I got. But you got to add in detention pay if you break down breakdown pay. All those things factor in, and they all help a ton. To be honest with you, uh, Maverick. I'll, I'll say this. And I, I really want to, because I, when it comes to pay, Maverick was really good. Maverick always took care of me financially when it came to my checks. My fleet manager, Kevin, was an amazing fleet manager. And anytime I had a problem, question, I always called him up and he helped me out. You know, uh, pay wise, Maverick was just awesome. And so I have. Um, no complaints. I have no you coming out of CDL school 
there is not a better company to go to for pay than what Maverick is. Now, I will say this. If you're looking at the flatbed side, I have two amazing friends um, who run their truck hard. As, as hard as they can, they get up, get it going. The flatbed freight is not as good as what the TCD is, in my opinion. I always made a ton more money than my flatbed friends. Granted, they went home on the weekend, but even when they went, like, they were happy to get 2,000 miles. They fought for 2,000 miles on the flatbed side. There is a lot of drivers. Maverick has hired a ton. Of, there's a surplus of drivers right now at Maverick. And I know that for a fact. They are over capacity, which makes it easier on the office side, but it makes it harder on the driver side to get miles. If you, if, do you see what I'm saying? There's not enough freight really. As of right now, at the time of this video, there's not really a lot of freight to go around. Hopefully, they'll build up some more freight for the flatbed. And even for the TCD, it, it would be awesome to, to, to build up even more freight for the TCD too. Uh, so, all that said and done, they just gave that big raise and then it seems like the miles went down. Um, so, that's coming from my flatbed friends. But, like I said, financially, Maverick takes care of their own financially, um, pay-wise, cents per mile. High cents per mile, great, great bonus great pay for performance bonuses man you can't beat that you can't beat it so all that saying all that said and done you know with TCD especially um, this guy's like I'm at, I'm at a dock here at US Foods in Cincinnati and this this guy's turning his truck around and he's having a hard time and it's like backing right into me look what looks like it so I'm trying to Stay focused. All right. So, but uh, but home time at Maverick, you you're at, you're supposed to be out at least two weeks with TCD, minimum fourteen days. Now that doesn't mean every other weekend. That means fourteen days, and they're pretty strict about that, unless there's like an emergency, of course. But minimum, you want to stay out three weeks to make the money in TCD at Maverick, just a minimum. So. That's my advice to you. I stayed out six, seven weeks at a time, and then I'd take like four or five days off, uh, six, seven days off some one time. I didn't really like that because I didn't get a check one week, and it just throws your whole thing off. So, but, but, um, you know, taking those four or five days off, it's nice. I have a glass friend. He was always taking two days off after every 14 days, and then he went to staying out three or four weeks, five weeks, and, um, he likes it a lot better. Um, just being home for that extended period of time and getting to kind of just you take a breath and you get to just stay home and, and it's really nice uh, it's hard being out here but it's nice to go home too so yeah if you have any questions I'll try to answer them like I said I'm not at Maverick anymore I'm not going to release the name of my new company uh, until after September 29th so and for my court case and everything I'm fighting that with a lawyer and they didn't, at first when I thought, like, since I hired a lawyer, driver legal, make sure you get that benefit when you're at Maverick. Um, but when I got the lawyer and I went through driver legal to do that, I, uh, I thought, like, they told me they were going to push the court date back because I was pleading not guilty, which is what that means whenever you hire a lawyer and you don't pay the ticket. So, but what now is, in, is, is coming about is they didn't move the court date back, which means I don't think it's going to be challenged. I don't know that for sure, but that's my mindset right now. I'm really hopeful that they're not even going to... I think it's... It, best case scenario is going to get thrown out. Worst case scenario... Well, that's not the... But, but second best case scenario is it gets moved down to a parking ticket or something, some insignificant thing. So, um, maybe the trooper felt bad about socking it to me that day even though I was very respectful to him but anyways have a good have a good week guys be safe out there um, if you're looking at coming to Mavic transportation like I said if you if you can bite the bullet stay out it's a good company pay wise I will say that lots of every company has its negatives some companies have more negatives than others but pay wise Maverick 
Maverick is a great company. So if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. I might, I might not. Like, I don't know. Like, if you want to ask me, like, oh, what kind of truck did you have? Like, they're all the same. You know, you don't have to ask me that. They're all Freightliner, Cascadia's, mid-roof. You know, <laughs> I mean, like, I drove a 15. So, but, um, yeah, guys, uh, take it easy. I've got a couple more video ideas coming. Um, so, bear with me. Stay with me, and I hope these videos continue to help you. That's what it's all about, just helping people out. So, all right, have a good one.